told you the story of 103 dogs rescued from a Sand Springs puppy mill earlier this month. Only a few remain up for adoption, and 2 News reporter Jamil Donath found out that they are a special bunch. Jamil. Yeah, the Humane Society calls them the forgotten few of the Sand Springs 103. The owners escaped prosecution since they gave up ownership of the dogs. Those pets that remain need some extra loving homes. That's Ellen. Ellen might be 10 years old, but this chihuahua has the pep of a puppy. For a 10-year-old, I still have lots of spirit. She is one of 12 dogs left out of the 103 that were rescued from a Sand Springs puppy mill in early March. These are the little ones that are kind of left behind, and we really want them to find their new beginning. The doggy dozen are finally healthy enough to be adopted, but the four-legged survivors have now been forgotten. That's all they need is to be showcased and to say, you know, hey, we're still here and we're still waiting. Scarlet and Ginger are Maltese mixes. Then there's Logan and Stud, the mini poodle Naomi. She's going undergoing still some medical treatment, but she's ready to go home. And the canine king of the bunch, Charlie, the toy poodle. He's a senior, but he is loving, but he's blind. This here is Sarah. She's a seven-year-old Yorkie and is the latest member of the Sand Springs 103. She was recently in isolation for an upper respiratory problem, but now is available for adoption and looking cuter than ever. They need a family with a really big heart. All of these animals have special needs, but the Humane Society says they have fully recovered. They're ready to go home. And despite what these dogs have had to endure, they are still wagging their tails. The Humane Society says all of the dogs are lovable and well-mannered, perfect for an older family or person. The dogs' profiles are on the Humane Society website and on their Facebook page. Jamil Donath, 2 News Works for You. They are some cute dogs. Our Jamil, thanks.